welcome, welcome you guys, welcome to my channel, welcome those that have been subscribed to the channel, welcome those that are new to the channel, um, I got a new video for y'all today, it's gonna be different, but um, I wanna talk to you guys about my life situation, um, and most men in America go through similar situation that I go through, or maybe even worse, and that is child support. Living with child support is it's not cool, and a lot of men are placed on child support for all different reasons, you know. Some men are placed on child support because they're not in their kid's life. They don't want to do what it takes, you know. Um, some are on child support for feelings. Um, and that brings me to my situation. Um, I've been on child support for about six, seven years now. And it's hard being on child support. It's very hard. They don't care if you have money. They don't care if you don't have money. All they care about is you, you know, making those payments. Um, I was placed on child support because of feelings. My baby mother put me on child support because she felt some type of way, you know, I love my daughter. I ain't seen my daughter in about two years now. You know, and I try my best, you know, to reach out to her and remind you that the only way I used to contact my baby mother was through a messenger. And that was on Facebook, which I don't have anymore. You know, my daughter, she just had two strokes. My baby mama reached out to me and told me my my daughter had two strokes. And I dropped everything, and I was like, okay, what's the information? Where is my daughter? You know, can I get the address? You know, she she denied me. You know, she wouldn't give me the address or nothing. And, you know, that makes that makes me feel real bad, you know, that I have no contact information on my daughter. You know, all my life, all I wanted to do was be in my kids' life. All I wanted was a family. And she took that away from me. She took that away from me. But to get back to my um, story... She reached out to me and told me that my daughter had two strokes. And I asked her, where, where is my daughter at? What hospital you guys are at? Um, just give me some information. And she told me, well, I don't think that's you know a good idea. We don't need that type of attention. And my mind, I said to myself, I said, wow, my daughter needs attention right now because she's in the hospital and you're telling me that she doesn't need that type of attention. That's wrong. That's wrong on all type of levels. You know, I find it very harsh for a woman to keep the father out of the kid's life. You know, kids need their father much as they need their mother. You know, but my situation is very sad. You know, I haven't seen my daughter in two years. And every time I reached out to her, she always gave me an excuse to why I couldn't see my daughter. You know, just recently, um, I wrote her. And I asked her, could I see my daughter? And she said, sure. 
I'll get back with you and I will let you know a day and a time. So me being the good man that I am, I waited. So about a month go by and she gives me a date and a time, but we never discussed it a location. But the date was good enough for me. So when it came down to seeing my daughter on that Pacific date, Pacific date, um, she came up with an excuse saying, oh, I'm leaving the state. Um, it's going to have to be on another note or another time. You know, and I feel like to all the women out there, if you have a baby father, don't deny him of his child. Because not only are you hurting him, but you're hurting the child also. You know, I ain't seen my child in two years. Like I said, um, it hurts me. It hurts me. And I've been paying child support for so many years. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. I had my license taken about three times. You know, it's not fun. It's not healthy. You know, all I want is a relationship with my daughter. You know, a lot of women, you know, um, put men on child support because, one, they're bitter. Two, um, they want revenge. Um, three, maybe he's not doing what he's supposed to do, but... I don't find it fair for a woman to place a man on child support when he wants to be there. I'm that man that wants to be there in my child's life, in my daughter's life. And she denies me every time. Every time I reach out. And what, what hurts me the most is that I don't even have no contact information. I don't know where my daughter is. Only thing I know is that she's in Florida. You know, and I went down to the to the child support office and I told them, I said, listen, I haven't seen my daughter in a while now. I said, I'm here, I'm paying child support and I can't even see my daughter. And they told me they couldn't help me. And I find that very, very hard. That's sad, you know, that you could... Put a man on child support, but won't let him see his child. I know a lot of women out there that will let let their baby daddy, you know, see they see their kids or see their child or whatever the case may be, you know. But I'm dealing with a situation where I really want to be in my child's life. I really want to be in my child's life. You know, I'm fighting and I'm going to continue to fight because I know God, he will make a way. He will make a way because he is the truth. He is my light and he will make a way for me. You know, and when I reached out to my um, my baby mother, you know, she gives me her mother's telephone number and said if I had any questions or if I wanted to know anything about my daughter you know reach out to her mother in the back of my mind I'm thinking like I didn't have a baby with your mama I had a baby with you so I find that very you know unprofessional for you to give me your mother's telephone number when you could be talking to me you know, in spite of whatever we went through a long time ago, you shouldn't deny me of seeing my daughter, you know. So I went ahead and I texted her mom. I said, hey, I'm Janiah's dad. I'm just trying to find out where my daughter is so I can come see her and be with her. And she went ahead and started texting me back. 
all type of stuff saying you this, you that, and you know, call me every name in a book but a child of God. So I responded and told her, I said, listen, I'm just trying to reach out so I can see my daughter so I can find out what's going on. You know, so I can so I can come and be there for my child. You know, because I feel in my heart if a man wants to be there for his child or his kids, let him be there. You know, but she still re- she still refuses to write me back. You know, she don't give me no information on how my daughter is doing. And my daughter was born with a, a condition. You know, she was born handicapped, you know. So every time I talked to her or when I tried to talk to her and, and wrote her on Facebook, she would respond like months later, like months later, saying she's not always on Messenger. So then give me a contact number so that I can contact you. All I'm trying to do is reach out so I can see my daughter, so I can, you know, send you stuff. How am I supposed to be there for her if you won't give me no information? You know, and to all the women out there, you know, that have baby fathers, please do not deny him. If he wants to be there, let him be there. You know, regardless of what y'all may have been through, regardless of what y'all have, you know, said or exchanged words or whatever, do not deny that man of his child because it hurts. It hurts me so bad that I haven't seen my daughter in so long. You know, and every time I I reach out to her and, and I talk to my baby mother, it's always child support, child support, child support. But see, my thing is, of course, the child has needs. But being there is what's important. Being around. You know, a lot of women think that just because a man sends her some money, that it's going to be all right. No. Half the time, the kids don't even see that money. You know, so... I'm not saying that I don't, you know, pay or give her money when she needed it. But I want to see my child. I want my daughter to know who her father is. You know, I want her to know who I am. Because it hurts so bad. It hurts so bad for a man not to have his child in his life. And it not only does it hurt the man, but it hurts the child also, you know, I've been fighting with this for so long, but I'm praying, I'm praying every day that God makes a way because I believe that he's going to make a way out of no way. You know, I pray for my baby mother every day, every day. You know, there is nothing that I wouldn't do for my child. There is nothing. I will give my kids everything. But I want to be there. That's important. That's what a lot of women don't understand. It's all about being there. What's the point of you being, what's the point of you sending money when they don't even know you? You know, of course, the kids, they need support. You know, they need a roof over their head. They need food, you know, but I want my kids to know me. I want my daughter to know her father. You know, I'm making this video because it's a lot of men out there that's going through the same situation that I'm going through right now. Maybe worse. You know, I didn't have my license taken for me three times. You know, and it gets worse. They take you to jail if 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 it gets, you know, worse than that. 
But all I want to do is be in my child's life. You know, all I want to do is be in my daughter's life. I love her. And it's so hard that I'm a man that wants to be in his child's life. And I'm denied of seeing my daughter. I ain't do nothing wrong. You know, I love my daughter. But some women just hold on to certain things. You know, they hold on to stuff that I guess they can't get rid of. And sometimes as Christians, we have to we have to pray for people like that. You know, I'm not on here, you know, um, throwing dirt on her name or speaking bad on her. I'm just explaining to y'all my situation, and how things happen. You know, I pray for my baby mother every day. Every day I pray for her and I pray that God heals her heart. I pray that he makes a way out of no way for her. Here I am a man. I'm married. And it's hard for me to to live and pay bills because I got child support coming out of my check every week. Every week. And sometimes they hit me hard. So you explain to me how a man is supposed to live like that. You know, it's been a while since I seen my daughter and all I want to do is be there for her you know and to all the women out there please don't deny that man let him see his kids no matter what y'all been through no matter what y'all going through that child didn't do nothing. Let her or let them kids see their father. It's so many, it's so many. That's why we have so many broken homes, you know, today. You know, different situations. My situation is different. You know, I was raised with my mother and my father, you know. All I want to do is be there for my daughter. You know, and I pray that if she if she even watches this video. That God touches her soul. You know, but I'm I'm going to continue to fight. I'm going to continue to fight for my daughter. Because one day I'm going to see her. I'm going to see her one day. But it's time out. It's time out for, you know, women put men on child support because you feel some type of way. That's not right. That's not right. And I'm one of those men that a woman put me on child support because of how she felt. Because she felt like she needed extra when I was there, but you took that away from me. You took my daughter and ran from me. All I wanted to do was be there, be there. You know how hard it is to, to go to work, work so hard, and when payday come, all you see is a pay stub. That's hard. I just want to be in my, my daughter's life. That's it. But um, if y'all have any information for me, as far as, you know, getting, getting visitation rights or let me know something. Let me know if there's anybody I can talk to as far as, you know, getting um, visitation rights or something that will help me out in my situation and my time of need. You know, I believe Jesus is going to work everything out. I believe that he's a way maker. I believe that, you know, 
He's always going to be here for me. And like I said, I pray. I pray every day that God touches my baby mother. Because all I want to do is be in my daughter's life. I ask y'all to just continue to pray for me. Please pray for me. I'm at a point in my life right now where I'm fighting. I'm fighting and I'm going to continue to fight for what's right. Because it's a lot of men out here that are suffering like me. And somebody got to speak up. And that's why I'm, I'm doing this video. Because it's a lot of men out here that are going through the same similar situation or worse than me. So if you guys have any information about visitation rights or how how can I find out, you know, where is my where where my daughter is located? I mean, something. I mean, I do know that my daughter is in Florida. You know, but I don't have a certain lo I don't have a, a address. You know, I pay child support, so I don't feel like I'm doing anything wrong. I'm just trying to see my daughter so I can be in her life. I thank y'all for tuning in. I thank y'all for being a part of my life. I thank y'all for subscribing to the channel. Um, please invite, you know, people out to subscribe to the channel so we can um continue this race because I believe God is going to make a way I believe he's going to make a way out of no way. It's been a long time coming. I'm just a father that cares. Like I said, I haven't seen my daughter in a while. And I believe that it's time. Thank y'all for watching it. Like I said, if you guys have any suggestions, any idea, I mean, the answers that I'm looking for, please, if you can just put it down there in the comment session section. And um, continue to pray for me because I believe that God is going to see me through this. He's an on-time God. I know he's going to do it. Thank y'all for watching. Until next time, y'all be blessed. I love you.